Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will try two things for the first time. Number one, I will play with open source large language models. And because the hype is really huge and Llama 2 by Meta is right now probably the most popular open source model, I will use it. And number two is going to be the Hugging Face library. All of my previous content have been around Langchain and OpenAI models. So today we've got something new and I'm really excited to show you that. And if you want, you can also test Llama 2 by yourself, by, on yourself by clicking on this link and it will take you to this chat for uh, Llama 2. It's on, a, on Hugging Face Spaces and you can just uh, ask it anything and it's giving you this streaming uh, behavior so uh, how to learn fast and it's giving me the answer but it's only the example of how you can use llama 27b and if you know it's got also uh, other versions and the 70b is probably the most uh it is the most powerful one but it's um uh, impossible to run on a single gpu that's why we will use our llama 7b uh, in this project so let's jump in so let's move to the notebook and to the code and the first thing that you need to set for this project is to go to runtime and change runtime type and make sure that you're running on gpu not cpu and if you've got the paid Mm, version of call up you can choose one of those but i don't so it means i'm sticking to t4 gpu and and it's necessary to run this project and then let's move to installations and we will install three packages uh, on top of what's already on call up and i'm installing transformer storage and accelerate and it takes because i've already run this notebook previously uh it's already all satisfied but uh, it, when you run it for the first time it should take slightly longer and then uh, we will need the access to our uh, llama model and you can find it when you click on this link and i'm leaving hugging f i'm leaving for hugging face and yeah you can see i I've got the gated model here it, and it means that I already have access for it because I've asked previously. But if you click on this for the first time, I'm using my incognito window right now, you will see this information, access Llama 2 on Hugging Face and you have to click on this link on Meta website and then you just need to fill this form, put anything here like personal and within two hours or something you should have uh, the access for this model okay let's go back to our project and to run it we also need to log in uh, with uh, the hugging face uh, cli and all you do you just uh, put click on login and then you click on this link and it will direct you to your uh, access token without showing it you can just copy and then go to this token uh, paste it and press enter and I'm gonna say no here and login successful and then by calling this who am I you should see your username and this is Chris Ogra back the same as here okay and then we need to load our model uh, so let me just show you this here and we will import some um, we will import auto tokenizer from transformers and transformers itself for later and torch and then the model how do i know the exact name of this model uh, as i showed you previously the link uh, you've got this name and if you copy paste it uh, if you copy this line here and uh, let me just show you and uh, i just pasted it and this is the exact name that's how you know 
what it's called an HF uh, at, the, at the end. It is probably just for hugging face. And then we implement our tokenizer and we run it. Okay, cool. We've got it. And then it's time to it's time to create our pipeline. And the pipeline is a very very useful and convenient way of for interacting with large language models that we use. And it has um, many various NLP tasks and large language model tasks. And for chatting, we will use text generation. And that's how we define the uh, type of the task. And then we've got our model, which is basically our llama. And then some more uh, parameters like we're using torch. And that's all we need to know now. And this cell uh, takes two to three minutes to run. So let me just run it and get back to you after it's done. Okay, cool. It's all loaded now. As you can see, it took 2 minutes and 36 six seconds to run. And yeah, let's move on. So we've got our pipeline and then we will create this function to get uh, responses. And all it uh, does, it takes a user prompt and then it generates a response based on that prompt and on and basically on our model so we already use uh, llama pipeline so it knows we're we're using it is for text generation and which model we're using and then as an input we will uh, uh, take our take a prompt which is something that we pass to the function and some more parameters and we only want uh, want one uh, sequence and the max length to 256. This is a hyper parameter, so feel free to uh, to experiment with it. And yeah, and then we will just print our uh, chatbot response. Uh, so let me generate it and already passed the first prompt to it, and it's taken from from the blog post that I also give you in the description. So let me just run it. And right now it should be slightly faster. I think it's around 15 seconds to run and to get the response. So at the beginning we should see chatbot and then probably a repeat, repeated um, question, repeated prompt. And yeah, chatbot, uh, and it's repeating what I wrote here. And comment is the answer, of course, based on those. Here are some other shows, Sopranos, Wire, Mad Men, and The Shield. And I can tell you how good this answer is, but I assume it's pretty accurate. So based on that, I've created my own prompt. Uh, like I'm a Python programmer and I like it because of the syntax and variety of applications I can build. Uh, give me five recommendations for languages, programming languages I should learn next. And let's see what it comes up with and what's the reason behind it. And again, 15 seconds, I guess is enough. 13. Okay, it says JavaScript. Ruby and PHP. Mm, interesting. I asked for five, it gave me only three. Uh, so that's the first thing that I didn't want. That's the first thing it got wrong. JavaScript. Uh, I know JavaScript too, which is interesting, and I like JavaScript, and I, I agree it's, uh, it's very popular and powerful for web development. Uh, interesting because many uh, machine learning engineers actually love Python but hate JavaScript. But okay, I can live with that answer except of having only three. But maybe uh, because I've uh, said 256, because some answers are basically cut off. Uh, and you can say, you can see here that this sentence is basically 
um, broken because we've reached uh, the max uh, length limit. Okay, let's see one of my favorite prompts that ChatGPT does pretty well, how to learn fast. And just to see what we're getting. Okay, uh, we've got 16 seconds and uh, six tips. Clear goals, break it down, practice consistently, use active learning techniques, get enough sleep, stay organized. I like that. Um, that's pretty decent. Uh, I, I'd add some more things, but uh, when I've tested it, I got like nine tips or 10 tips, but this is pretty solid. And again, let's try with <clears throat> Just one, this is going to be the last one. And I'm showing you this because usually around fourth, the fourth prompt, I start getting some false responses or completely broken responses, but this is still good. I love basketball, give me a recommendation, volleyball, soccer, flag football, never heard about it. Actually, volleyball is my second best sport which is which shows that this answer is pretty pretty good and uh, so i'm running this one too because usually after I, i've given you this note here that usually after the third or fourth prompt i start getting some worse responses or it pretty much stops working the way i expect it to but this time it's it's all working pretty well which is which is very good and I've created this uh, this loop only to make it kind of conversational. Uh, let me just ask it again something, and uh, so so this cell makes it more like like a chat. But let's see what it comes up with. Okay, it's it's giving me more answers, which is good because. <laughs> When I ran it before before the recording this video, I got some some problems, but this time it's working pretty nice, which makes me very very happy. And that's it for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from from this video. And the biggest advantage of the Hugging Face library and the pipelines is that you can now take other model, our other open source model, and just use the exact same code to play with your models just make sure that they, they are trained and fine-tuned for this kind of text generation and conversations and play with it and in the next videos you can expect more content about hugging face and open source large language models so make sure to subscribe and click that bell on my profile to get notified and i'll see you in the next one